Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Enemy here, bringing you my review for Fire Force Episode 17, and boy do we have a lot to talk about. Alright, so first off, one one little bit of a weird change that immediately jumped out to me in terms of the beginning of the episode is they cut out the whole is is they cut out the whole moment of basically Ibana taking out the guys who were carrying Shinra on on that stretcher and, and just kinda cut the conversation afterwards, unless Unless it happened in a previous episode, and I just forgot. But yeah, the the, the anime took a the, the anime took a little bit too far of a leap ahead on on that one. They yeah, yeah and, that, and then they just kind of completely cut out the, the the cut it out. But I I can understand. I think I can kind of understand why because the the whole scene of basically Hibano like pretty much taking out those guys is just an extremely brief scene. So maybe that's why I don't know. Um. And yeah, the episode wasted no time in giving us the fated reunion between Shinra and Sho. And I'll be real with all of you, I thought having previously having reread this stuff in the manga had emotionally prepared me for what I was going to get, but the art, the animation, the voice acting, and even a little bit of the subtlety of the music soundtrack, like you could barely hear it, but it was there. Just a little bit of that subtle music music track in the background. It all made the experience five to ten times more emotional emotional for me. And I'm I'm not I'm not cold hearted or anything, but it's rare that I, I do get at the very least a knot in my stomach from watching something like the reunion between Sho and Shinra. But yeah, it it hit it it hit pretty hard for me and a lot of the and like like how can how can you not too it's it's basically two brothers who are meeting again but it's under the most it's under the it's not under the best of it's not under the most friendly circumstances in fact Drex show has basically just been totally in doubt. what will make what makes it so such a tragedy too is that show has been just completely indoctrinated in, in, into pretty much the white clad, in, into, the, into the white clad's ranks. So it's like, he's, so now it's it's making, it's going to make Shinra's goal of, of basically saving his brother even harder than, than he probably thinks. Like, again, I admire the, I admire Shinra's optimism, but this, but this, but the fact that he is part of the white clad and, and who he is now, it's, it, it's made things ten times harder, and yeah, it's 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 just just the tragedy of it to see like to, to, in order to see these two brothers reunited again, but re reunited again, but pretty much torn apart by their, but but torn apart by but by basically who they're allied with. It's like it's it's even more tragic than, than it's even more tragic than the it's 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 like for me it's kind of on. I'm gonna get, gonna get a little hate for this, but for me, the, the, the tragedy of these two brothers is like on par with with the whole with the Itachi and Sasuke situation from Naruto. It's a uh, yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, and so, and and I think and I think also what what made it even what 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 made this what made the whole reunion between the two brothers even more emotional for me is that this is also the first time. That Company Eight has suffered their first genuine defeat, and it gives us a sense of just how powerful and how influential the enemy actually is. Of course, with within the, the with of course with 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 with, 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 with in that that from despair, there's also a little bit of a little bit of hope, as we as we see for a brief moment, Lisa. Almost escape with Vulcan, so it shows a flicker, w flicker within her that that she's not completely beyond saving either. Um, also, going back to the art and animation for a minute, um, holy shit! Uh, yeah, th this the art and animation was freaking amazing, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad to see such an effort. For being put in, into the anime again, because within the past couple, I'll, like I'll say this right now, the past couple of episodes, e even even within even within the tiniest bit of a quality quality hike, the past couple of episodes have been that that we've gotten have been it, have been so 
have been so amazing to watch. It, 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 it like the past couple of episodes have kind of reminded. If I were to compare it to anything, the past couple of episodes we've we've gotten have reminded me of the first four to five episodes of the anime again, and it the the art and animation definitely reached its peak when Joker entered the battle. Because even though even though that fight between between show and Joker was brief, it was still just so epic, so grand, so so smooth, and just the art and animation was so smooth and so slick. With, with every frame and character movement. Um, what, one area in particular I also liked is, is, is when they, is, is, is a scene I believe when, when, when pretty much you cut to like pretty much Shinra and, well, Shinra and Arthur like, like fighting those, like fighting those like white clad guys and, and, and the guy with the top knot, he, he threw like a ball and chain and, and the way the chain was animated like flying at Shinra or something, that like, that was like that was on some like pretty much 3D like on some 3D level shit without the 3D. It was like it, it was it was that it was that well animated for me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, overall art and animation like it was it was an on point effort for sure. Um, now the biggest thing about this episode is. Is, is that the key to Amaterasu is now in the hands of the white clad. And from here, it's really just a matter of waiting on unfaded on on breath as to, as, as to when the white clad is going to basically unleash Armageddon on this world. Although, although considering the fact that, uh, this, that this is a shonen, they, that, that we're probably going to see him like, like from drag it out until from just the end game. Um, but... In in this case, it's it's also something I don't mind because the white clad have been presented as such a such a calculating group that they, they can buy into they can buy into it a little bit more as you met as as what's as what's placed in as as what's used to justify it is more than likely that that the white clad is, is still going to have a, a have a lot more is going to spend a lot more of their time like pretty much preparing just to, to just pretty much destroy the Amaterasu and. And they're still going to have more steps of preparation in order to get to that point of their plan. Um, aside from that, Vulcan has pretty much joined the com company as their engineer and uh, engineer. So now our heroes can pretty much can move on with a full squad. And one thing this episode did in that regard that I remember really liking in the manga is that is how they still took the time to ease Vulcan into the idea of joining the team before he actually made the decision himself and well you could argue it was a little rushed I think it still worked because of how naturally you see Vulcan interact with everyone in Company 8 um, and okay so one other thing is I don't ever usually talk about I don't even usually talk about the the pretty much about the tease about the tease at the end of the episode that that basically that's that previews the next like the next episode's title or whatnot, but in this case I, I definitely need I I think I, I need to kind of mention it. Um, if if you didn't stick around to the after credits, the next episode's title is called "The Secrets of Pyrokinesis." Now. If you'll remember correctly, in, in a previous episode, I had mentioned how how the anime had basically cut out had, had cut out cut out a, a pretty much a pretty much moment uh, after after Victor Licht is introduced, of how like after Victor was introduced, he, he kind of he, he basically unloaded a uh, basically front load amount of of exposition uh, of expositional world building on us. Judging so just judging from that. And seeing this title, um, and and seeing this title like the Secrets of Pyrokinesis, I imagine what's what's going to happen now is is they're going to put that is is, is that next episode we, we should probably expect that that, that pretty much scene I meant I mentioned that was cut out, it, well, all the people will pretty much be put back into this episode I meant into into the next episode I imagine so yeah it's it's one of those it's one of those things where it's I guess it's not a huge Things that I because I, I I kind of kind of had a feeling that that they wouldn't they, they wouldn't completely cut out such an important an important scene, but it, it, it's one of those things where or, or they just kind of delayed it I guess is what they did, um, but <clears throat> <clears throat> but um, yeah guys that's all I've got for this review. If you enjoy the video, 
Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram. That might have been me, signing off. Later, guys.